In this video, we're going to look at how to modify the type of borders that a table has and also the colour of those borders and the background colour of the cells, called shading. It's really an amalgamation of two videos you've already seen, one on adding borders and shading to text and the other on selecting parts of a table. Let's start by inserting a table as a refresher. We select the table menu, drop down to insert a table, choose a number of columns, choose a number of rows and click on OK. There's our table. We know we can select columns, we know we can select rows and we know we can select individual cells. We also know we can select the whole table. And we looked at, in the last video, how to modify the dimensions of the uh, columns and rows by clicking and dragging the dividing lines or using table properties to modify the exact dimensions of those columns and rows. But let's look now at how to make these tables look a little bit prettier. I'm just going to put some data into these cells just so it looks a little bit more like um, a proper table. Okay. Oops. You can, of course, do all the normal text editing formatting. For example, you could select a row and change it to be centered aligned so that all the information in that row is centered aligned. Of course, you could do that on a column or a cell. You can make them bold. You can change font size and sizes and add color to those as well. There are things you know how to do on normal text, and it's exactly the same in a table. Okay, so that's formatting the actual text inside the cells, but we'd want to know the cells themselves, what we can do with this. Again, you can work on columns, or rows, or individual cells, or groups of cells. And, as always, more than one way to go about things. The first way is to use the outside, uh, sorry, the border toolbar icon. And if we use a little drop down menu just to the right of that, we can choose a number of different settings on whether to have borders or not. So for example, if I select the whole table and then do the drop down arrow and choose no border, then all the borders disappear. You can still see them greyed out on the screen. That's to help you lay out your document. But when you print it, those grey lines will not appear. So again, you could do that with selected cells as well. Let's just select the first row. And we can use this icon now to choose a box border, an outside border. And that puts a border around the outside of just that row. I like a little bit more control than that. So I'm going to show you the other way of working. Again, you can select your column or select your row or certain cells and then do format and drop down to borders and shading. I told you you'd be familiar with it. And we use this in exactly the same way as we did with text. We work left to right, choose a style of border that we want. Do we want the box border that will go around the outside of the whole row, but not the lines in between it? Or do we want to put the grid lines in? Your choice. I'm going to put the grid lines in. No, I want to put a box border on. Indecisive as ever. You can choose the style of border. I'll have the double line. You can give it a colour. And you can alter the thickness of the line as well. Once you've made your decisions, you can see in the preview window what that is going to look like. And then click on OK. And that information has been passed onto the table. And there you can see we've got a border around the outside of that row. Let's have a look at that again. Choose a column this time. Format. Borders and shading work left to right. This time I'm going to have a, um, a grid border. Uh, sorry, yeah, grid border. Let's put on three lines. I'll make it blue, slightly thicker, 
and OK. And you can see how that's put the line around the outside, but also now we've got the individual lines inside there. Try that once more. Select the whole table this time, Format, Borders and Shading, and choose the style that you want to work with. Let's have this one. Can't alter the thickness of this one, just the particular style of border that you can't alter. Can give it a colour though, and OK. There, that looks pretty. So that's adding different borders, but we can also add shading. And again, we can select the whole table or individual columns or rows. I'm going to select row one and do format, borders and shading. We've looked at the borders tab. We now look at the shading tab. The shading is the background color. We're going to make it yellow and OK. And you can see that's put a background shading of yellow onto the cells that I had selected. You can just work with individual cells or groups of cells. Format, borders and shading, shading tab, choose the shading color that you want. And remember, and you will do from previous videos, you can use more colors to, to fine choose that color selection. And click on OK. That's applied the green outline. Notice when I first did it, it looked pink. That's because it's selected. When you have anything selected with colours, it inverts those colours. So you need to click away to see the real effect. Finally, let's select the whole table again. Format, Borders and Shading. I'm going to give the whole table a yellow shading. And then I'm going to go back to Borders and have a grid border. I'm going to choose a simple line. I'll use a double line, I think. It's red. Choose your thickness. So I'm working left to right. Just these little bits here. I told you that this was preview, but you can actually use this to switch individual lines on and off. For example, if you don't want that border at the top, you can switch that line off by using this icon. And it switches that line off, toggles it back by clicking again puts that line back in. If you don't want this line going down the middle, you can switch it off by clicking that line down the middle icon and switch it back on again. You can put diagonal lines through using these diagonal line icons. Let's see what happens now. Hmm. Not easy to read the data, but you can see what we're doing there. We're selecting the table, format, borders and shading, Choose your basic style, then choose your main style and colours and thicknesses, and then choose which lines you want to include. So that's borders and shadings um, in tables.